Many of the services we provide in the NHS split physical from mental health and what we do in liaison psychiatry is try and bring the body and mind back together again. People come to hospital for help with symptoms and commonly physical and psychological symptoms occur together. So if someone is struggling with a chronic painful illness like arthritis, it comes as no surprise to us that they might feel low or depressed. If you have diabetes and you are depressed or anxious, that will have an impact on how you manage your illness and there is good evidence that psychological interventions can lead directly to improved control of your blood sugar. It's also more than just providing a shoulder to cry on. People that we see often lose hope and feel at the end of their tether, and a good intervention by liaison psychiatry can be life-saving. And of course, this doesn't just apply to the work we do in hospital, but also to the wider community too. So I've worked at St Mary's um, Hospital for a number of years now, both as a consultant and as a more junior doctor. During that time in A&E, we've had the advantages of having a liaison psychiatry service there. It has affected me in a number of ways, um, both in terms of their help with dealing with our general emergency medicine patients, who we don't think have necessarily got a mental health problem, and those who come into hospital who clearly do have a mental health problem. We particularly have a large number of patients who come to the hospital because they're victims of major trauma. We're a major trauma centre and we see a number of patients who have mental health problems and have then have injured themselves in terms of self-harm and also those who've suffered psychological problems because of their injuries. We can always get hold of a member of the team. We can actually discuss any problems with them and they are essentially on site to provide us with support 24-7. I was referred uh, a long time ago actually, now I'm eight and a half months of pregnancy and from the first weeks when I got pregnant I went to GP and I was in that kind of mood and uh, as you told me this is depression which long time ago is nothing to do with the pregnancy. With pregnancy I believe it's just become a more uh, sens sensitive uh, but uh, yeah, and uh, I got these pills, and even from the first day I got feel relaxed. It's very difficult when they're so separated, when quite often they're needed to work in conjunction with each other. It makes life harder on the, the doctors, and it makes it harder for the mental health teams to treat you as well. When we were first in touch with the liaison psychiatry, they were such a breath of fresh air, quite honestly, because when they phoned up to make the appointment, they said, we can see that your husband has a lot of physical needs. How about if our doctor phoned him up and we spoke to him over the phone instead of him having to trek here to see us? And even before speaking to that doctor, that made a huge impression on both my husband and I. Well, I was in big crisis. Um, I was actually feeling suicidal. If I could have done, I would have harmed myself. We got to the point where we really didn't know where else to turn for help within the hospital system. They didn't really know what to do with him. Um, so at that point, in desperation, we, well, I called the psychiatrist from the liaison team who had seen John at home and she was able to get involved and really set things moving for us. So that was a huge help. A typical day for me as an older adult psychiatric liaison nurse would be to go to the wards following the referrals, assess the patients, try to determine what's going on for them. You know, is it a delirium? Is it a depression? Do they have a dementia? Suggest interventions, uh, care plans or ways forward with the referring team. Um, I love my job. It's challenging, it's exciting um, and I really can't understand why all trusts don't have a liaison service because, you know, we're there for the patient. I'm really, really passionate about liaison psychiatry services. If you are looking at a person in a holistic way, you are looking at their mental health needs as well as their physical needs. And we know that 
any time in hospital for any of us can be scary. But the liaison psychiatry is fantastic because it brings support, expertise and education to staff and to patients to ensure that their experience is, is a positive one. It guides people through that journey.